My name is Andav Goshen. I'm the CEO of MakerBot. So I've been here for two and some year, years. I've been the, the president of the company and I recently appointed to be the CEO of the company. There was a little bit of a turnover when you came on. There was another CEO who wasn't here for, for too long. Um, do you feel like you sort of inherited a, a difficult position? No, MakerBot is in a great state. I think we are released a new line of products six months ago, which was very well received by the market. And I think uh, we operate um, the same as we did before. I think we are growing the market. I think the changes is the way we wanted to address the market. And I think one of the changes was that we wanted to grow with the market. Instead of kind of aiming from higher growth or inorganic growth, we decided to focus on product offering and focus on two segments that we think our product are well suited for, and the education market and the professional market. I think we are providing a very good product for these markets. I think the difference is that we are now not trying to speculate on what the market will be. We are looking at how the customer are using a product, how they are you know, experiencing what's their needs, and we are growing with that demand. Is the issue that the product didn't, or that the space didn't grow as quickly as was initially anticipated? So I think our looking at this business grew up and matured to understand that this is not desktop 3D printing. This is two different or three different sectors and it needs different solutions. And I think we chose to focus on the professional and the education. Previously, there were kind of, I would say, immature kind of expectation on consumer businesses and things which within that field. And I think we are just trying to kind of align ourselves to this new market understanding. Does that mean that in a broader view that the consumer is largely out of the equation? I mean, you're really breaking it down into education and professional. I think the consumer for us is the next step or the longer term one. I don't think that right now there is a consumer 3D printing and successful product offering. For the consumer market, we are looking at the market, we are investing heavily in Thinkiverse, where we have the largest 3D printing content for consumers and makers. It, it seems like part of the issue, you know, beyond reliability, beyond uh, pricing for consumers was just the idea of actual need, you know, is there, is there a want, is there a need for 3D printers in the consumer market? Again, trying to predict needs is very hard. I think content creation and content availability is definitely um, a point with the consumer market. But I think we have Thinkiverse. We invest in Thinkiverse. We see thousands of, uh, maybe millions of you know, users which are downloading every week or, or day. So it is there. The question is how do you get it with a wider reach? And I think the way to deal with that is to kind of learn to the customer needs, not speculating on it. And I think that's the difference. I don't know what the actual needs are, but by growing with the market and by providing the right threshold and adding it more and more, I think that's the right way to go. It puts you in a really difficult position though when there is this tremendous amount of hype um, and now there's a fallout, you know, now, now the, um, now the conversation, you know, in, in the media is this idea that, you know, that it, desktop 3D printing has been kind of a failure because it didn't achieve that success. So where, where does that put you as a company? Where does that, that put you as a CEO? Is it your job to temper some of those expectations? We are seeing increased demand and increased usage. So our reality is different. And I think because we serve for that customer needs. So we see increased growth in usage new customers and adoption rate. So I think for us the experience is there is this media, I would say perception on 3D printing in general. And I think we're part of it. So that's the reason we are meeting, trying to clear that message. But making business decision, we make it based on what should be the right for the market. So I think the challenge is for us, how do we cross that, I would say, negative uh, sentiment uh, by providing like the actual you know reality that we are experiencing